Hello and welcome. Let's analyze this position between Janne Pomniaci and Andrei Asipenko. Here we are playing with white and as we can see material is equal 6 pawns for uh, both sides, um, both rooks, queens and 3 minor pieces. Both sides has bishop pair and let's think about how it looks, how it looks like. First of all, white is possibly a bit better developed, but right now white bishop is threatened um, to be taken by the black pawn. Uh, also another tension is between c and d pawns, they can be actually actually uh, taken if nothing is taken care of, and uh, the natural move to consider a natural candidate in this position is retrieving this bishop like to maybe e3, b2 or d1 somewhere along, along that diagonal. But what happens if we play let's say bishop to e3? What would be the next plan for black? Well, black doesn't have to plan too much because as we can see the h2 pawn is hanging. If we do, don't do anything drastic, on the very next move black will just take the pawn on h2. What are our options? Let's try to see if we can do something drastic. Like, if we can try to checkmate black by uh, playing uh, knight to f3. After black takes, then we take from f3, then we take on g5, and then maybe this bishop is hanging. But certainly you can see that after something like bishop to g6, white actually doesn't have any more threats and a queen even can't penetrate on h5 anymore. So that doesn't work. Let's see what else could work. What happens if we take here? Because here we have a threat that we can possibly uh, take maybe even on b7 later on and then maybe trap the rook. But if we take on c6, black can immediately take our bishop and then other piece is hanging so this is not really a viable idea so most probably to go back with the bishop something like bishop to e3 let's see another forcing idea we can see that right now white is better developed so maybe we can do something about the big black king what happens if we actually sacrifice our bishop the simplest way for, for black to continue most probably is just taking it back. But then this uh, king is quite open. So maybe with something like bishop to g4, we can attack the king and can go to h8. From here, we can actually, that queen from here, maybe can go to d4 and then continue pressing black king. That's possibly a viable option. Take on h6. Black can also take right away with the check, but after moving our king to h1, basically, yeah, our bishop is hanging, but so is black's bishop, sort of, because we can play g3 and capture the bishop, possibly. Considering my options, I think that if we don't do anything, then we are clearly down a pawn and I think that in case of taking on h6 we should have at least a draw. That would be my final decision. Let's try what happens. As, as I expected, uh, actually bishop to h6 is the best move and as you can see also Jan saw it and played it. Let's see the other options. So bishop to h6 is giving us 50% chance it's actually 0.0, .0 estimate and if we go back to e3 then immediately we are down almost one pawn and we will be lost almost 13% so I think it was quite a good call. Let's see in analysis what happens. So after we take what could be the black's best response? Black can take right away or black can take a pawn. Let's see what happens if Blake, Black takes right away. Of course, after this check, I think, yeah, 
we don't have too many options we'll have to go to to h1 and now already as you can see uh, black should retrieve what happens if black actually doesn't retrieve if black tries to take our pawn then actually we are a bit better even according to the to the engine that actually not like by giving check maybe we check we are just equal but with something like uh, bishop to uh, d3 like removing the uh, strongest defendant of the black king we can we can actually have an edge in this position so what happens if black takes white takes and right now bishop actually is trapped if a bishop doesn't go back so let's see what happens if a bishop goes back then our continuation is clearly related to the knight and the queen so as you can see this continuation could be extremely extremely dangerous for for, for black there isn't too much help for black's king and it could get quite dangerous but most certainly we are threatening all sorts of perpetual checks or something like that so we are most definitely not worse even we should be better in this position what could be a takeaway from this position what would i like you to to understand and to remember for your games um, if you are having the position where you are threatened don't try automatically just to pull uh, your piece back first try to see if there is any forcing move if there is any forcing variation do not play that automatic chess or how should they call it where you just actually play the move because someone tried you uh, move back try to see if there is something forcing and if there is go for it thank you very much and let me know if you found the move